Hey everyone, Chuck here. Hope you're having a good day. Um, in this video, what I'd like to, to briefly talk about here, it's kind of a short section, but it's an important one. Uh, titled it, Perform a Value Chain Analysis to Identify and Support Activities that Create Customer Value. And so what this section of the ECM is talking about here is that um, you know we have to do this analysis of this thing called the value chain. And from the dictionary standpoint, the definition of a value chain analysis is this. It says it's an examination of all the steps a company uses to produce and deliver its products and services from origin to final delivery to customers. Now, your first question might be, well, what's is that any different than a supply chain? And, and the answer is, yes, it, it is different. It's still a supply chain, but we're calling it a value chain because we want to go into those activities that are performed in the supply chain from beginning to end and back uh, and the back and forth that we identified at the beginning and identify those steps. The customer is saying that one's of that value to me. Um, so we're trying to identify what is it that's important to the customer? Are we performing those steps successfully and meeting what the customer wants? So it's a little bit different. We're looking at a supply chain from a, a value creation, value analysis standpoint. So I look at my training and I look at, you know, the creation of these videos as an example. The value to me is you and I having the conversation right now. It's not necessarily fancy backdrops or cards at the beginning or cards afterwards that watch, you know, please watch this other video. To me, value here is we're to the point, we're talking about what you need, and we're moving on to the next thing. That's the value you're looking for the most. So, you know, what what are these, what does this analysis do for you and I? Um, it, it helps us figure out, well, what are the steps that you as a customer truly value, whether you're an organization, but I got to focus on those and do those correctly. I got to execute those correctly. And I got to make sure they're done correctly because those are the steps that add value. So in these videos, if I'm covering topics that are extraneous, um, you're not happy about that because you came in to get some knowledge and then get out of the conversation. What that means then, less costly to create the product, therefore more profit. Now, in my example here, the profit, so to speak, is you successfully passing the exam. But back at work, we're only doing those steps that add value, allow us to charge the price. The market will will say it's willing to pay, and we're doing it at the most efficient point. I'd, I'd say also we get a better use of resources, uh, as well as a better understanding of what's important and what's not important to the customer.